Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that was pretty cool that I picked up recently for my YouTube channel. I'm actually very excited about it because I actually have been needing one of these for a long time for specific type of videos, uh, especially ones where I'm talking to the camera. I actually picked this up last week at the same time that I got my slider. And if you notice in my previous video where I did my slider, the audio is a lot different than my other videos because usually I'm using my Rode Video Micro, which is a great microphone. However, with this little lavalier, I'm actually able to get some pretty good quality of audio for me directly here without all the surrounding audio. Like I said, this little guy was about 15 to $20 on Amazon and it shipped the very next day. And I gotta say that I love this thing. It works really well. And it works exactly as I would have not have expected it to. If you have or have not, I've done previous reviews on other microphones in this price range, which is about 15 to $20. This right here was actually one of the biggest letdowns in my opinion. It just wasn't as good as I'd liked it to be. It looks like it would have produced some pretty good sound. However, it didn't do anything like the video micro does. In any sense, I think that this thing is nowhere near the value that you pay for it. It's super cheap. You can probably get better audio out of the camera microphones on the front of the camera itself. And I think this thing is just a complete waste of money. Some people do use this, some people do recommend it. However, I would not recommend this microphone, which is the Movo VXR 1000. With that being said, this little guy, the Boya BYM1, turned out to be an actual very surprising great microphone for $20 to $15. You can use this for your mobile phone as well as your cameras and actually has some really good high quality condenser sound to it. Even though the construction of it isn't the greatest, the cabling, the actual microphone itself doesn't seem like it would be high quality. It actually produces some really good sound quality. So as you can see, the box is pretty well straightforward. You just open it up. As you open it up, you got this little leather bag, which is actually pretty cool that they give you that for that same price range. I wouldn't really expect them to give that. Uh, even with my video micro, I just got it in a plastic container and that was it. There was nothing to store it in. This little guy comes with its own little leather bag, pleather bag, and it's stored just like so. Now already you can see that it's got this huge hornet's nest of cabling. Uh, and I think that this really is what I needed it for because it's extra long and I can actually microphone myself up to the camera as I'm recording it and record it directly into my camera. But also if you like, you can use a separate audio recording device to, to record your audio. I just prefer to plug it directly into the camera and see my audio levels as I'm recording. This is what the lavalier looks like. This is the condensed microphone and this is where you will pick up all your audio. It's got this little clip on it, which uh, is pretty good quality. It clips on, it stays on, and that's all you really need to worry about. You have this large amount of cables that's connected to it. What are the cool thing about it, it comes with this little tie down, which is really useful for you to be able to organize it up. And uh, I can kind of show you how that works. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull out the amount that I need. And that is how it looks. So basically what you'll do is you'll put this on yourself like so. This right here is probably gonna go through the side of your hip, close to the pack where you're gonna be using it, or if you wanna be just, honestly, I, I would just set it on the table because you're not gonna see it anyway. Or you can set it in your pocket and wire it under the table. I just feel a little bit more safer knowing that it's not gonna be stuck or hung anywhere because it's definitely gonna hook onto something. The remaining part of it is gonna be going to any of your camera or your recording audio device. Also, in case you didn't know, it has this little filter on it so you can actually filter it up to get better audio quality. Now, if you're gonna be recording like me, I actually stick it underneath of my shirt and this little teeny, if you see this right here, this little part right here where the seams go together, I pinch it right on there. Not too much, just enough to where it'll hold. Once I do that, just flip it underneath and you can barely notice it. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and test the audio and show you guys what exactly it sounds like. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna directly swap the audio <laughs> as we're recording, so you'll hear a little interruption. All right. You wanna make sure that when you use this, you have it set to camera. Also, keep in mind, if you open this little guy up, it does have a replaceable battery, so make sure that you have a couple of these handy just in case. I would highly recommend that you pick some extra batteries. You can never have too many batteries. Okay, this is the test of the Boya BY-M1 lavalier microphone. As you can see, the quality sounds pretty good. I don't have to talk as loud. When I'm talking to the video micro, I sometimes feel like I'm yelling. When I'm talking like this, I feel like I can just talk normally. It's something that I had to transition into doing and learning, but it, I think it actually helps in the long run. Well guys, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really, really enjoy this camera microphone. 
I'll be using it definitely in the future. You can use this for many applications. The cable is so long, you could probably hook this thing up and use it for interviews. You can also use it for your vlogs like so. If you have a separate recorder, you can definitely do vlogs with it. You just wanna make sure that you have everything separate and that your device is recording every single time you're recording with your camera. Otherwise, you can run into issues where you don't have audio from this thing at all. That's it. Well guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions regarding this microphone, feel free to ask it in the comments below. Also, if you like anything with this channel, if you like any of the videos, feel free to subscribe and we'll get more videos out as soon as possible. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.